subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell. Hey friends, how are y'all? Editing Brandy here. I had originally filmed this video as a grocery haul, meal plan, and meal prep. However, when I'm editing it, it is entirely, entirely too long to be one video. So I have decided to break it up into two parts. This first part will be the small grocery haul and meal plan. And then the next part will be the meal prep. But stay tuned for the grocery haul. Okay, this grocery haul is even smaller than I remembered ordering. I'll be curious to see how much I was charged in the app. But let me show you what I got. And luckily for me, even with my meal prep, I had most of this stuff already here. Hence why the grocery order is small. And my husband ran out to go get some of his stuff too. So this is what I'm working with this week. Actually, before I show you, let me go ahead and tell you what the meal plan is. So... Tomorrow, I'm going to make uh, a crock pot meal. I'm going to make um, beef tips and rice, which has peppers. And I went and harvested a ton of peppers this morning, fresh from the garden. So I wanted to use all these up. I have like mixed colors. So it's really, really simple. It just has like a brown gravy with, it's a recipe my mom used to cook growing up. It won't be the lowest points because the stew meat is kind of higher point, although I did get a lean one, so it's not horrible, but it's served with rice. So that is meal number one I'm cooking tomorrow. Meal number two is a casserole that has ground meat on the bottom, potatoes, carrots, and then cabbage. It's so good. It's a family meal. I personally remember my aunt putting it in like one of those like local cookbooks, you know, like the spiral kind. Yeah, we've always referred to it as one meal veggie deal. That's the least in my head what it's called. But it's so good. Usually it's ground beef, but I wanted the um, meat to be zero points. So I picked up some 98% lean ground turkey, which is still zero points, not just 99. So those are the two dinners. And then for lunch, I'm going to do like a stir fry with dumplings in there. Like I'm just going to use a, a frozen stir fry kind of like asian vegetables and then pot stickers from trader joe's and call that a day for my lunches we'll see how that works and then uh breakfast is going to be turkey wrapped egg cups with egg whites i found that i really love the turkey bacon and egg white combo so that's what i'm gonna do for breakfast so now that you know the game plan for the meal prep let me show you what i had to pick up and i did not already have on site site meaning my house and pantry and freezer and fridge i'm out of it today so for both my beef tips and rice and my one meal veggie deal i'll need onions man walmart kind of did me dirty there but it's okay once you chop it up it'll be fine i got an extra just so i'd have it on hand i only picked up one banana like i said my husband's going to get his bananas and whatnot so i just grabbed me one i always always cut up my own carrots but this was only 19 cents more and i was just like you know what that is what i'm going to do i'll probably use most of these in that cabbage ground beef bake um the cucumbers are just for snacking i really really like these with cottage cheese and whatnot hummus that sort of thing got a five pound bag of rusted potatoes for the casserole along with a head of cabbage just green cabbage for the casserole and yes i'll use the entire head i love cabbage and it's a vegetable i feel like we don't eat often enough okay and then i got my dog rio a bag of green beans he's been on a little diet as well that's all the fresh stuff for the beef tips and rice i got three packages of brown gravy mix honestly i don't think i'll use all three but i just wanted to get an extra one just in case in the one meal veggie deal, this onion soup mix goes in along with ranch, but I already have the ranch, so I went ahead and picked up this. I got the carton of egg whites for the breakfast. I personally like egg whites. I like eggs as well, but to me, it makes my breakfast like more varied. In the car, you know, I told you that one night I made nay needed dinner, so I went ahead and picked up this chicken a la king. I, it's not low point. I think it's like 11 or 12 points. But I have to say, like, I really, really enjoy the flavor of this one. I've been eating this one for years on end. And it's not low points because the whole package is like 400 calories. But if I just eat it as a dinner, then, you know, that's fine. 
Okay, I picked up another TV dinner, just maybe for a lunch this week. It just sounded good, you know, I don't eat stuffing very often, so give this a go. And I think I remember right, I scanned this one, or I typed it in, and I think it was like five points, five or six points, so not bad at all. I realized I haven't been given points, but nothing's really been points yet. The gravy mix is truly like very, very, I think it's like the whole package is one point. Uh, same with the onion soup mix. So those are two ingredients you can use and keep your points down as well. Obviously all the vegetables are zero. You do have to count some fruits or all fruits if you're on the diabetic plan, but I am not. Not really sure how that roll goes with that. And then the only other things I picked up is I picked up some of this lean stew meat. You see that? You see that? $11. Isn't that insane? But whatever. It's 1.3 pounds. This will be for the beef tips and rice. I definitely could have done better um, buying something at Costco and like breaking it down, but whatever. And then I got two things of this 99% lean ground turkey. Um, I debated whether or not doing hamburger meat like normal or the turkey, but I think last time I did it, we did a ham uh, turkey and we didn't really mind it. Plus, this was like $3 a pound cheaper than the lean ground beef. So ultimately, that was what my decision, and it keeps it being zero points. So in that meal, the only thing I really count points for is potatoes, and then like if the onion soup mix, you know, like adds up. The only so the only other thing I got is these denture cleaning tablets, and I do not have dentures, but I do have like um, retainers that I sleep in at night, and usually I put them in a liquid solution, but when I travel, these, being able to take these tablets to clean my... Uh, retainers is great i can't think of the word because it's kind of like a new to me thing so that is it friends i will be back tomorrow with the meal prep oh. so i also went to starbucks and i had my second psl of this season i have to say i'm not a huge starbucks fan but i love the psl so i grabbed that and i went to hobby lobby so i have a little hobby lobby haul if you want to see it stick around if not i'll timestamp so you can just jump to the cooking tomorrow Okay, I don't go to Hobby Lobby very often, but I went for a specific purpose, specifically to look for laundry signs. Let me go show you my laundry and then we'll come back to it. So in general, I'm not very big on like the farmhouse signs and whatnot. But <laughs> I think the laundry ones are hilarious. So a few, I don't know, maybe a year and a half, two years ago, I started doing this in the laundry room and slowly adding to it. Well, may, most of them come from Hobby Lobby. A few of them, like I cross-stitched this one even before I did this. Um, I, some of them came from like online or whatnot. But Hobby Lobby has a lot of these, but they hadn't updated or changed them. And at least a year. So I haven't went and looked in probably about a year. So I went to look to see if they had anything new. And they did. So let me go show you. I do have like one, two, three that I haven't hung yet. And that is not because I just haven't gotten around to it. It's because like the placement. Like I don't want another laundry basket next to that one. I don't want another metal sign next to that one. So there is some theory behind it. Okay. So my new laundry sign Keep it fluffy. I really, really like this one because it gives like a different shape. And also none of them say keep it fluffy. And I think that's hilarious. Um, don't overload. I thought this is really cute. The only problem I'm going to have is it's like something you sit and I'm wanting to hang it. But I can put like one of those adhesive can man hooks or something on the back. Um, this is another saying that I haven't seen yet. One day I'll miss all this laundry. Today is not the day. Doesn't, I think that means like if you have children, which I don't, but whatever, same thing. I still like the sign. And then I had been wanting a big poster with all the instructions. I hadn't found one. So I found these two, which I was happy to have. It like literally is helpful in the laundry room. So you can look at your tag and know how to wash it or dry it. So these will actually be functional and I'll put them on the opposite wall of the others. And then one day if I see a bigger sign, I'll just like replace these. They're only $6. Usually I wait and buy the signs when they're like 40% off. 
but I didn't buy many and it was pretty cheap, so I just went for it. Okay, I just love lemon drops and they got me at the checkout. What can I say? I did look at the calorie count and you can have five pieces for 60. So barely over 10 calories each. So that's not bad at all. Um, we needed some sort of spatula for my dogs to get their peanut butter when they get their shots. Um, we had accidentally, not accidentally, when I got new serveware, I threw away my wooden spoon that they used to use. So picked up this one and it's fun. So we'll never forget what it's used for. Okay, Hobby Lobby. For one thing, I don't know when they started carrying kitchen items, but I saw they, they had this mini collapsible colander and I've been wanting to replace my colander for like a really, my mini one for a really long time. So I had to pick that up. I'll show you what I have. Like I have this one right here, but the handles are just like, I don't know, the metal is getting weird where that like comes off on you. So. Gotta love that those are collapsible and there's two sizes, so. And they were only $5 for both, so I feel like that was a steal. And this was only $2, so good pricing. And then also, when did Hobby Lobby get shirts? <laughs> so I got this Beatles graphic tee. It has like the little sparklies up there in the name. I like it. Very cute. Just a basic t-shirt. And it was only 10 bucks. And then I got this oversized sweatshirt that is Hello Kitty. I really like it and it's nice and embroidered. It was only $20, but also it's so, so freaking soft. So all in all, little haul cost me about 70 bucks. Not too bad.